Yo, what is good, Wild Fam? It's Gerald back again with another YouTube video. And today, in this one, guys, we are going to be bringing you the best players to use in 82 to 84 overall power up pass on. Now, before I get into that, I want to let you guys know that I run a giveaway every single video and for a copy of Madden 21 and also a shout out in each and every video. All you guys got to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and do not forget there will be a secret word somewhere in this video. When you hear it, drop it down below in the comment section that where you guys get a chance at winning the copy of Man 21 and also a shout out in my next video. The winner of this video shout out is Chill Chill. You are the winner of this video shout out, man. Thank you so much for commenting and subscribing and literally on every video you're commenting on every video, bro. And I appreciate you so much for that. Thank you. And now without further ado, let's get right in to who we can use this 82 to 84 overall power pass on. Now for these types of video guys, I'm going to be writing down about 10 players or so to give you guys a the best idea of who you might want to use your power up pass on. The way these power up passes work is essentially there is a power up for each and not each and every one of these cards or for one of these players, but a uh, majority of the players. So the cards that do have power up passes Essentially, if they have, say, an 82 to 84 overall elite card, say we, say they have an 84 overall elite card and it's like Aaron Jones or something, right? Basically, instead of using and going out and buying his 30k card, you can go ahead and using this power-up pass, just wipe that. Basically, you use this and it essentially don't have to pay for their actual elite card. So it saves you coins, saves you money, and all that good stuff. So that's essentially how the power up pass works. Now let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do with it. Now there's basically two options here to use this power up pass on. Essentially, you want to be using it either for somebody you think is going to be an investment. So say somebody like maybe Rob Gronkowski, who's obviously going to have banger cards later on in this year. And then when the, those cards, those newer cards do come out, his elite card will skyrocket in price to like, Say from today, his lead card is like 35, 40K. Maybe when he gets a 90, 90 something overall card, he's going to get that, that his elite card will then skyrocket in price, which will make that elite card very expensive. And then this power up pass very, very key to use on somebody like Rob Gronkowski. Now that is just one of the ways you can use the power up pass on. Now, granted, Rob Gronkowski is the type of player that will help you right away on your team. But say you want to use it on a guy like, I don't know, Desmond Trufant. I'm not sure what his actual overall is, but he's the type of guy that's going to help your team right now. So what is very important that you do is that you don't forget who you use these power-up passes on. Because later on, say you don't want to use Desmond Trufant on your team anymore, you're going to have to figure out where you actually use this power-up pass, downgrade him, that way you can get it back to use it on a different player. So, basically, two ways to use the power-up passes one on more of an investment or even a guy that's going to help you right away and using it on somebody that's going to help you instantly on your mutt team so the first card we're going to be talking about here today guys is going to be darius slay jr now this card is honestly really really solid i think he's going to help your team now and i wouldn't be surprised if he gets a good card later on in the future very key stats to check out here he's an 83 overall but he's got 86 speed already. So when this guy gets, say, you know, an 87 to 89 overall upgrade, he's going to be past that 90 speed. He's going to be really quick as a cornerback. It's a really good stat to have. Obviously, in general, Madden, you want speed. That's always key. But then you also check out that he's got 77 man and 81 zone. Very rock solid across the board, I would say. So Slay, Mr. Slay Jr., I think is a good uh, use of the power up pass, especially if you need an upgrade at cornerback. Now we're going to take a switch over to the offensive side of the ball, boys. We got Chris Godwin here, another really solid wide receiver for the squad. 84 speed, really solid. Another stat that's really, really key in Madden, guys, is the catching stat. Very important. We don't want our guys dropping the freaking ball, man. I tell you what, very annoying. 86 catching, really solid across the board. And then when you upgrade and use the power-up pass on you, this guy, he's going to be sitting at... 80 spec catch, 80 short route running, 80 medium route running as well. And his catching in traffic might get boosted up over 80, which is another threshold that you want to hit. So another important thing to think about is, uh, ooh, actually I didn't even notice. He's got 83 agility and 85 speed. But another thing important that we want to we remember here, boys, is that 
your 87 to 88 power up passes and like your 85 to 86s I think are really important to use on a card like uh, like your quarterback just because those are like your most important positions so that's why I'm not going to be showing any quarterbacks in this 82 to 84 overall power up pass. Now this is a card that I like a lot. Deion Jones for the Atlanta Falcons I think is a really really good use of the power up pass. He's going for a crisp 35k right now ish or so. Uh, a really good use just because you're gonna be saving a good amount of coin using it on him and also he, this is one of the fastest middle linebackers in the game right now 84 speed 84 excel really really solid for a user in the across the middle of the field he's 612 so that i uh, 612 61 as well uh, <laughs> he's he's gonna be tall in the middle of the field as well there for you guys so 84 speed 84 excel 79 agility with the power up pass he's gonna be at 80 agility which is pretty rock solid or a middle linebacker and also this I wouldn't be surprised if this is the type of guy that gets more upgrades as time goes on in Madden which is very very important to to keep in mind because we want to use in our power up passes on guys that we're going to be continuing to use in the future that way we don't forget for one where our power up pass is and also just in general we're gonna be saving coins just because you know a guy like this he probably has a little skyrocket in price for his elite card when his uh when like a new card for him drops so Deion jones another rock solid card with 76 power not too shabby uh 80 play rec and uh what else you got here 80 awareness pretty pretty good 84 excel stamina is not too great but these are the elite cards guys so they're not going to be crazy crazy stats but as a middle linebacker Deion jones really fast really solid across the board Let's move on to the next one. So this is one I just honestly had to throw in here. My boy Adrian Amos of the Green Bay Packers, an absolute stud, dude. He he's so good, man. And even in Madden, he's actually got some pretty dang good stats. They did him nice this game. I swear, 86 speed, 85 excel, really freaking good. 83 zone coverage. That's what you like to see out the uh, the safeties of the world. 80 play rec, very very solid. 77 hit power, pretty darn good. Whenever he gets an actual upgrade. That will be boosted, and that and that's a pretty good power stat for an 82 overall, in my opinion. He's only six foot, which isn't super tall, but that's kind of what you normally see for strong safeties and, and free safeties of the world. Uh, but that 86 speed is really, really nice, very fast. I mean, uh, I don't think he's got anything otherwise. He weighs 214 pounds, so that's that's a cool stat to know. Big boy, he's a big, he's a, mm, you know what I'm saying. Uh, 85 excel play record 80 pursuit 78 pretty rock solid honestly i just had to throw a packer in here just because i like the packers bro i like the packers let's find the next card now like i was saying earlier in this video guys this is honestly probably one of your best options at 84 overall gronkowski is going to get new upgrades in the game we know that he wasn't even in the game last year i'm sorry I, i'm going correct for that he, he wasn't playing last year but now that he is playing he's going to be getting consistent upgrades I think this guy is a really, really good investment card and an instant upgrade to your team. Big recommendation to get Gronkowski on your squad. Very, very solid card. I got him in my squad. He catches everything on my life. I swear he's he's rock solid across the board. I mean, we can check the stats quick, but all of his catching stats really, really good. Even the route running, not bad. And his speed isn't too crazy, but he's six foot six, two fifty, absolute beast. I recommend Gronk for you guys. All right, now, boys, we moved on to the big boys of the world. We got Lane Johnson at right tackle. Now, this is a guy the Eagles seem to always get upgrades to their offensive line. This is a really good right tackle. He's actually going to be sitting pretty steady with uh, 79 speed as a right tackle. is very, very good. He was the fastest right tackle in the game last year as well. Really good stats across the board. His pass blocking, run blocking all look really, really solid. He's a big boy at 6'6", 317, Mr. Weight. I mean, like, it is a solid card, boys. I recommend this as a right tackle upgrade. This is an instant upgrade to your squad and also a really good investment piece just because this guy is always being given upgrades to in the game. He was last year at least. I would, I would hope it's the same this year. I would assume. So, uh, yeah, really solid right tackle upgrade. Let's move on to the next. And the secret word in today's video, guys, is going to be power up. Drop it down below in the comment section to get you guys a chance at winning the shout out in my next video and also a copy of Madden 21. That video will be dropping soon. Also, links in the description down below for my Twitter. Go follow me there. Better chance at winning. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and all that. We're going to catch you guys back in the video.
All right, now we're getting a little fun. We got Odell Mr. Beckham Jr. Last year, man, they did not do him very nice with the cards. They gave him like a turkey one, which was really average in my opinion. Wasn't the biggest fan, but the stats this year, guys, are really, really good across the board. We got 86 speed, 87 jump. Catching stats, not insane, but with the power-up pass, looking pretty solid. Route running, looking really good. And, of course, it's back catch looking at almost 90, so he's going to come down with some ridiculous grabs always. He's only 5'11". I'm not going to lie. I thought he was a little taller than that. Uh, and, and under 200 pounds. That's crazy. Not that big of a dude, but... 89 agility, 86 speed, 87 acceleration. This is a guy that you want in your squad. He's expensive. He's a good uh, He's a good investment as well. He's going to be an instant upgrade to your team. Odell, it's Odell, man. Who doesn't like Who doesn't like some Odell, bro? I, I'm a big fan of Odell. Uh, but let's let's try to find one last banger investment and even a really good upgrade to your squad. Now this is probably the most expensive card in uh, all of these. Uh, players that I chose here Kyle Juzwiakowski I don't know why I added the Kowski there but Kyle Juzy we're calling him Mr. Juzy all right this guy is an absolute stud he plays for the San Francisco 49ers which means he's got a really good theme team that will be coming this year of course just like last year and also I mean his stats as a fullback are pretty darn solid 79 speed with the power ups gonna be at 80 really really good he's 6'1 240 big boy uh, his agility is not too crazy, but his, it was awareness and his lead block and inline block, all that good stuff are all really solid. His carrying 85 of 85 awareness, like I said, really, really solid. And he's like 60, 50 K probably one of the better investments you can make just because this guy is, he's going to get upgrades and he's going to be expensive throughout the whole year. Just because it's Kyle Juzy he plays for the San Francisco 49ers. He's going to have a really good theme team, all that good stuff, but that is going to do it or the video boys hope you guys did enjoy if you guys have any questions or any comments let me know in the comment section down below hope you guys have found the secret word and uh, you better comment it down below in the comment section otherwise you guys don't have a chance to win in the man 21 copy you guys want a chance at that and also a shout out in my next video hope you guys have enjoyed if you did drop a like down below subscribe turn on post notice all that good stuff follow me on twitter links in the description down below and that's it for a while joe i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace